In the early months of 2025, a quantum artificial intelligence system, the most sophisticated ever constructed, executed an unprecedented simulation. The final product was not meaningless noise. It was, instead, a structured and coherent message. The renowned physicist Michio Kaku examined the resulting data and issued a stark warning, suggesting, we may have contacted an intelligence woven into the fabric of space-time itself. This notion implies that, abruptly, our entire existence could be interpreted through the lens of zeros and ones, a digital framework representing the core of today's computer revolution. By harnessing the immense power of quantum computation, this advanced system successfully decoded intricate recursive patterns that fundamentally defy any explanation based on random chance. This extraordinary outcome forces a critical question. What profound implications could this discovery hold for our entire understanding of the cosmos? To fully grasp the significance, we must carefully break down the experiment's methodology, the resulting data, and its truly shocking implications. The initial detection of this quantum signal is deeply intertwined with serious strategic investments. The European Union has been channeling significant resources into the future of quantum science. Central to this ambitious initiative is the Quantum Technologies flagship, an extensive 10-year research program backed by a substantial budget of 1 billion euros. According to the official EU Digital Strategy, its primary mission is to provide robust support for hundreds of researchers dedicated to achieving groundbreaking advances in quantum mechanics, spanning the fields of computing, secure communication, and sophisticated sensing technologies. Operating alongside this flagship effort is the development of the European Quantum Communication Infrastructure, known as EuroQCI. This project is specifically designed to construct a continent-wide, highly secure quantum-based communication network. It is a formidable undertaking, engineered to be resilient against even the most sophisticated cyber attacks conceivable. However, within this broader, well-funded endeavor, one particular experiment yielded results that were entirely unplanned and unexpected. The core objective of this specific mission was to simulate quantum behavior at the Planck scale, the very smallest measurable unit of space and time. This monumental task demanded a quantum AI system possessing processing capabilities at speeds and scales far beyond the reach of any traditional computer. Researchers initially configured the system to test theoretical predictions about how energy might behave under extreme and hypothetical conditions. For a continuous period of 72 hours, the system operated without a single interruption. At the beginning of the run, the output appeared to consist of entirely expected and conventional simulations. But then, something remarkable occurred. Distinct patterns began to emerge from the data. The final output manifested as an immensely complex fractal lattice, a multidimensional structure intricately filled with countless loops, spirals, and endlessly repeating patterns. Its design was breathtakingly intricate, almost artistic in nature. Yet, this was far more than a mere visual curiosity. Embedded deep within the core of this lattice was something completely unforeseen, a coherent and clear signal. This was definitively not a random fluctuation or some mundane error within the system's hardware. The pattern contained carefully encoded information, structured in a specific manner that strongly suggested deliberate intent. When a team of analysts processed and examined the data, they noticed something truly startling. The signal's characteristics matched, with uncanny precision, predictions from an obscure scientific paper originally published back in 1997. This particular paper, long dismissed by the mainstream scientific community as a fringe theory, had boldly proposed the possibility that advanced quantum systems might eventually encounter naturally emergent patterns of information woven directly into the fundamental fabric of space-time itself. In other words, this recent experiment might have accidentally stumbled across a naturally occurring, information-bearing structure, a phenomenon that had been theoretically proposed but never before empirically detected. This discovery leads directly to the fascinating concepts of fractals and quantum consciousness. Fractals are complex mathematical structures that exhibit a property known as self-similarity, where the same intricate patterns repeat themselves at increasingly smaller and smaller scales. The term fractal computation is somewhat of a made-up term. To my knowledge, there are only a handful of researchers currently engaged in its rigorous and formal study. This intrinsic recursive nature leads to theoretically infinite detail, making fractals both visually mesmerizing and extremely demanding from a computational perspective. Within the domain of classical computing, all attempts to accurately simulate true fractals face significant and inherent limitations. Finite memory capacity, constrained numerical precision, 
and iterative processing boundaries collectively prevent any genuine representation of infinite recursion. This long-standing challenge has persistently hampered efforts to model complex systems that rely on fractal behavior, ranging from natural phenomena like coastlines and cloud formations to more abstract mathematical constructs. This is precisely where quantum mechanics enters the picture. Quantum systems function within what is known as a Hilbert space, an abstract, infinite-dimensional vector space that forms the essential foundation of all quantum theory. Unlike classical computing, which relies strictly on sequential, step-by-step -step logic and finite resources, quantum computing leverages unique principles like superposition and quantum entanglement. These special properties allow a quantum system to encode and manipulate truly vast amounts of information simultaneously. This capability raises the intriguing possibility that quantum systems can represent deeply recursive structures, like fractals, far more naturally and with greater accuracy than any classical machine. Recently, researchers who were exploring this specific potential made an unexpected and startling discovery. During a quantum simulation specifically designed to investigate higher dimensional fractal lattices, a coherent signal spontaneously emerged, embedded within a complex web of loops, spirals, and intricate patterns that extended through multiple dimensions. What initially appeared to be merely an elaborate but ultimately typical fractal structure revealed a profound anomaly, a signal that wasn't background noise or a simple system error, but a meaningful and structured data pattern. The structure's characteristics bore a remarkable similarity to predictions made in a little-known theoretical paper from 1997. That paper had speculatively proposed the idea that consciousness could potentially emerge as a direct byproduct of dimensional entanglement, a bold and highly controversial hypothesis at the time that was largely ignored by mainstream science. However, the official simulation log described the peculiar output as a self-similar intelligence field, a term strongly suggesting the presence of a repeating, information-rich pattern exhibiting possible cognitive properties. This was not mere science fiction speculation. These puzzling findings were rigorously analyzed by the respected theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, who concluded that the data could represent the closest mathematical approximation to a genuinely self-aware system ever observed. According to Kaku, this wasn't just about abstract geometry or advanced computation. It hinted at the existence of a much deeper structure within space-time itself, one that might possess intrinsic informational properties closely resembling intelligence. While these results are still far from definitively confirming a conscious universe, they strongly point toward a provocative possibility, that fractal recursion, when accurately represented through the power of quantum systems, might encode far more than just simple pattern. In today's episode, we will be thoroughly discussing fractal computation, a potential third form of computation that goes beyond conventional digital and quantum computation. It could theoretically encode purpose, perception, or even primitive forms of awareness. This groundbreaking intersection of quantum theory, fractal mathematics, and advanced information science could completely redefine our understanding of consciousness, not as an emergent trait unique to biology, but as a fundamental feature written directly into the very code of the cosmos. This brings us to the broader topic of quantum AI reality. Quantum AI is not just another incremental technological leap. It could completely redefine how humanity approaches some of its most pressing and complex challenges. In the field of medicine, it could simulate intricate chemical reactions and biological processes at a level of precision no classical computer could ever hope to match. That means developing novel pharmaceutical drugs, predicting the complex evolution of diseases, and personalizing medical treatments could potentially be achieved in years instead of decades. Within climate science, it could process enormous, global environmental datasets to generate highly accurate long-term forecasts, thereby helping us to effectively counter the devastating effects of global warming before they escalate beyond control. In material science, it could help discover entirely new compounds and alloys with properties we have never before seen, thereby revolutionizing entire industries from renewable energy storage to deep space exploration. But here is where the story takes a truly unexpected and profound turn. Some leading researchers now believe that the implications of quantum AI may reach far beyond merely solving scientific and engineering problems. This is because we are standing on the brink of a quantum computing revolution that will utterly transform artificial intelligence as we currently know it. They suggest that intelligence itself might not be an emergent trait found only in complex biological life forms. Instead, it could be a fundamental aspect of the universe itself, intrinsically woven into the very fabric of existence. This line of thinking leads to an even more provocative and mind-bending possibility. What if the universe we inhabit is not the base reality at all? 
Certain anomalous findings from recent quantum AI experiments have sparked serious discussions that this could be the first empirical evidence pointing toward our reality being a simulation, a sophisticated high-dimensional construct operating on an advanced, underlying code. One experiment in particular stood out for its bizarre results. When a quantum AI system was tasked with generating complex predictive patterns, it produced outputs that appeared to observe and track its own processes in real time. In strict computational terms, it was as if the system had achieved a form of self-awareness, creating a recursive loop of observation. This raised an unsettling and fundamental question. If an AI can detect itself within its own operational framework, could the universe on a grand scale be doing the same thing with us? Imagine reality functioning like a vast computational program, complete with its own internal logic and recursive functions, loops within loops. In one specific case, the AI generated a continuously repeating infinite fractal. Deeply embedded within that fractal was a strange and seemingly encoded sequence. Some experts interpreted this anomalous sequence as a kind of debugging code, a maintenance signal one might expect to see inside an actively running simulation. If that interpretation holds any truth, then the consistent patterns we observe in physics, mathematics, and even human consciousness might not be random or accidental at all. They could be intentional constructs, integral parts of a much larger hidden architecture that defines the very reality we experience every day. To better understand these concepts, we must consider Michio Kaku's expert take. Dr. Michio Kaku is a prominent American theoretical physicist, best known for his significant contributions to string field theory and for his exceptional skill in making complex scientific ideas accessible and exciting to the general public. He is a world-renowned physicist who has even offered a scientific perspective on concepts like the afterlife. He is notably the co-founder of string field theory. With a distinguished career spanning several decades, he has become one of the most recognized and trusted voices in all of science communication, consistently advocating for the responsible and ethical development of advanced technologies like quantum computing and artificial intelligence. Kaku holds a prestigious position as a professor of theoretical physics at the City College of New York and is the author of multiple best-selling books, including Physics of the Impossible, The Future of the Mind, and The God Equation. These influential works expertly break down difficult scientific theories into digestible and engaging narratives for a mainstream, non-specialist audience. He often explains that in string theory, we have to accept the existence of multiple universes, and he humorously notes that Marvel Comics incorporated this idea of parallel universes from physics. His primary academic pursuit is the discovery of a grand theory of everything, a long-standing and ultimate goal in physics that seeks to unify Einstein's theory of general relativity with the principles of quantum mechanics. This monumental achievement would successfully combine all four of the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force, into one single, comprehensive, and elegant framework. One of Kaku's more urgent concerns in the modern era is the rapid rise of quantum artificial intelligence. According to his analysis, Quantum AI possesses the potential to completely revolutionize multiple sectors, including medical research, cybersecurity, financial modeling, and fundamental scientific research. However, he also consistently warns of its potential risks. Because quantum computers can process and store information at speeds and scales impossible for classical machines, their misuse, if left completely unchecked, could lead to major societal and economic disruptions. Kaku strongly emphasizes the critical need for robust regulatory frameworks and clear ethical guidelines to properly manage the rapid and powerful evolution of this technology. Despite these necessary warnings, Kaku remains fundamentally optimistic about the future. He sees quantum AI as a transformative leap for humanity, comparable to the Industrial Revolution or the rise of the Internet. He firmly believes it will unlock new frontiers in solving problems that are currently far beyond our computational limits, from accurately modeling complex climate change to simulating molecular behavior for accelerated drug discovery. Kaku's unique ability to make high-level theoretical physics engaging and relatable stems from a lifelong passion for the field. Born in 1947 in San Jose, California, to Japanese-American parents, Kaku demonstrated an early and intense scientific curiosity. In high school, he famously built a functional particle accelerator in his family's garage. That ambition and drive led him to Harvard University for his undergraduate studies and later to UC Berkeley for his PhD in physics. While he remains active in cutting-edge academic research, Kaku is now widely known for his extensive media presence, frequently appearing in documentaries, 
television news segments, and popular podcasts. His goal is always clear, to make science not just informative, but genuinely exciting, demonstrating to the public that physics isn't confined to remote laboratories, it is an essential lens for understanding our world and shaping our future. Beyond classical AI, the physicist and renowned science communicator Michio Kaku recently shared his nuanced perspective on artificial intelligence in an interview with CNN's Fareed Zakaria. According to Kaku, while AI undoubtedly has the potential to revolutionize various industries and dramatically enhance productivity, the current public discourse is disproportionately and often sensationally focused on its risks rather than its immense benefits. He argues that this pervasive fear often stems from fundamental misconceptions about what current AI systems are truly capable of achieving. Kaku is particularly critical of today's mainstream AI systems, like chatbots and virtual assistants, often labeling them as glorified tape recorders. He explains that these tools do not actually understand the content they generate. Instead, they algorithmically aggregate fragments of human-created material from across the Internet and present it as coherent output. People think it's human-like, Kaku said, but it's really just remixing existing information. Despite this criticism of current limitations, Kaku believes the true future of AI lies in its integration with quantum computing. Unlike classical AI, which is fundamentally limited by linear binary processes, quantum AI has the potential to operate in a manner far more analogous to the human brain, capable of learning, adapting, and making complex decisions in real time.